Hello everyone. In this course we will learn about radiographic detection. Mainly include 1. Concept and classification of radiographic testing. 2. Principle of radiographic testing. 3. Radiographic testing. 4. Evaluation of film quality. Part 1. The concept and classification of radiographic inspection. The concept of radiographic testing. Radiographic testing is a non-destructive testing method that uses the properties of X-rays or gamma rays that can penetrate and attenuate materials to find internal defects in materials. X-ray X-ray detection is mainly divided into X-ray detection, gamma-ray detection, high-energy X-ray detection. Part 2. Principles of Radiographic Inspection. We will mainly learn about the generation of X-rays, which are produced in an X-ray tube. An X-ray tube is a vacuum tube with a cathode and an anode. Its simple structure and working principle are shown in the figure. The cathode is a tungsten wire, and the anode is a metal target. When the cathode is heated to incandescent by current, a large number of electrons will be generated on the surface of the cathode. When a high voltage is applied between the anode and the cathode, the electrons are repelled by the cathode and attracted by the anode, accelerate through the vacuum space, the high-speed moving electron beam bombards the metal target in a concentrated manner. The electrons are blocked, slowed down and absorbed. Part of their kinetic energy, about 1%, is converted into X-rays, and more than 99% of the remaining energy is turned into heat energy. So what are the, pro so what are the properties of X-rays? Let's find out. 1. It is invisible and travels in a straight line at the speed of light. 2. Uncharged, not affected by electric and magnetic fields. 3. It has the ability to penetrate substances that visible light cannot penetrate, such as bones, metals, etc., and has attenuation characteristics in substances. 4. It can ionize the material, make the film photosensitive, and also make some materials fluoresce. 5. It has biological eff effects, damage and kill cells. Next. Let's learn the generation and properties of gamma rays. Generation of gamma rays. Gamma rays are produced by the decay process of the nuclei inside the radioactive material. Such as cobalt-60, iridium-192, etc. Characteristics of gamma rays. The properties of gamma rays are similar to those of X-rays. Because their skin length is shorter than that of X-rays, the energy of the rays is high and the penetrating power is greater. For example, the widely used gamma ray source 60 Co can inspect 250 mm thick copper workpieces, 350 mm thick aluminum workpieces and 300 mm thick steel workpieces. Attenuation of rays in matter. When the ray penetrates the material, the material absorbs and scatters the ray, which causes the attenuation of the ray energy. Part 3. Radiographic Inspection. Radiographic Detection. The picture shows the detection principle of radiography, in which one is X-ray, 2 is workpiece, 3 is film, and 4 is the blackness change of negative. It can be seen that the radiography method is based on the difference in the attenuation of the ray energy by the inspected workpiece and its internal defect medium. So that the intensity of the ray after passing through the workpiece is different, so that the defects can be displayed on the ray film. What are the basic components of the detection system? From the figure we can know that 1 refers to ray source, 2 refers to lead aperture, 3, 7 refers to filter plate, 
4 refers to standard belt. 5 refers to lead shield. 6 refers to workpiece. 8 refers to bottom lead plate. 9 refers to cassette, film and intensifying screen. To sum up, the radiographic detection system includes a radiation source, a radiographic film, an intensifying screen, an image quality meter, a cassette, and a marking tape. Part 4. Evaluation of film quality. Film evaluation is to observe the negative film through the film viewing lamp. To qualitatively, quantitatively and locate the defects on the negative film through the image on the negative film, to evaluate the quality level of the workpiece according to the standard. And to write a test report. Ma mainly learn from the following three aspects. 1. Environmental requirements for film evaluation. 2. Inspection of film quality. 3. Image analysis of welding defects on film. 1. Requirements for film review environment. Film review should be conducted in a dedicated film review room. The light in the film review room should be dim but not completely dark, and the light used for indoor lighting should not reflect on the surface of the film. 2. Check the quality of the negative film. Blackness is an important indicator of the quality of radiographic negatives. Each radiographic standard has regulations on the scope of the negatives. Only when the blackness of each point in the effective assessment area is within the specified range can the negatives be considered. The blackness meets the requirements. Then turn on the, view then turn on the viewing light. Adjust the brightness to an appropriate level. Put the shading plate on. And place the film on the viewing light for observation. 3. Image analysis of welding defects on films. Common welding defects are porosity, slag inclusion, lack of penetration, lack of fusion, cracks and shape defects. Where they appear on the film. The images presented have certain characteristics. The image features of several typical defects are shown in the picture. Please observe carefully. Finally, let's summarize what we learned today. 1. The concept and classification of radiographic testing. 2. The principle of radiographic testing. 3. Radiographic testing. 4. 4. Evaluation of film quality. That's all for this class. Thank you for watching.